Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James and in this video, let's go over a few things. Some news, some items that's come out, some promo material. We got some posters, or at least they're calling them posters, of the new spinoff series. Um, the Rick and Michonne poster uses a photo from an old episode, an old Walking Dead episode, a frame anyway. Um, so it's not any new footage, any new shot. And of course their spinoff is called Rick and Michonne. And Daryl's spinoff, of course, is called Daryl Dixon. It's poster, just him and his motorcycle. Will he have his vest? Will he have his crossbow? Looks like he might have a motorcycle. But again, a promo shot from something old, not necessarily a new shot for this poster. But the Dead City one, definitely a shot or a frame from the filming of that. And we also got a little behind-the-scenes clip, in case you missed it. It's of Dead City and some of the just behind-the-scenes shots. And Greg Nicotero posted on his Instagram that, uh, and Twitter, something, that uh, uh, Walker, cool Walker, you know, for France, for Paris. I remember Greg Nicotero being asked, you know, what are you going to do now that The Walking Dead's over? And he's like, well, I got a choice. I can go work with Lauren and Jeffrey, or I can go work with Norman. It looks like he might have did both. He might have worked on the Dead City one and then just transferred right over to Daryl Dixon and then... Possibly the way the filming is working, transfer right over to Rick and Michonne show. It does seem like they're filming these back to back and not at the same time. Doesn't seem like there's any crossover. One more thing I wanted to throw out in this video is a discussion about Designation 2 a little bit. And what one of the soldiers said on the radio said, get her there safe. You know, they were talking about Connie. They had her at the train. They were going to take her away. Daryl and Carol rescued Connie. She never got to designation two we never found out what that was uh the guys just seemed like oh crap you know she's going there it doesn't look like we will see designation two we might that still might be a reveal but one of the things one of the soldiers said was get her there safe what exactly does that mean yes designation two points to a crm connection yes get her there safe points to her being traded or given to CRM as a test subject. Get her there safe. She's going to be a test subject, an A or B or something. So yeah, Commonwealth may need a few supplies, little things they need here and there. You know, they put it together as far as uh, resourcing it. Do they actually need any supplies? Commonwealth trading, you know, Jadis traded for supplies. Do they actually need a certain type of supply that they're trading people for? Or is it, hey, you leave us alone. We'll give you people. Just like Jadis, you know, we need supplies, but also leave us alone. Is that part of it? Pamela, being a government person, you know, from the old world, it sure seems like she would know about CRM and actually possibly even have a connection. I'm not sure we will learn what it is in this main series. It could just be one of those plot holes that's going to be left for the spinoffs. Hey, you guys let me know what you think about the posters and the new series. Maybe the walker that Greg Nicotero posted for um, Daryl Dixon's show. And let me know what you think about Designation 2 and what it is, what it's connected to. If that's not the CRM connection, what do you think it might be? There's a lot of people out there thinking we're not going to see them at all in the last two episodes. Uh, we're not going to see Rick. We might get a post credit scene, that kind of thing. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it all plays out. You guys let me know what you think about it all down in the comments below. And you know I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.